when you're finding the volume of irregularly shaped objects, you can't just use a ruler. You actually have to use displacement. So in this case, what we've done is we've added water, and we've added enough water that's going to cover both objects. And you can add as much as you want or low as you want as long as it covers both. So in this case, we're going to take our initial reading, and our initial reading, you're going to get eye level, and it looks to be about 32 milliliters. So you write down your initial. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take both objects and place them into our graduate cylinder. And to do that, we're actually going to tilt the graduate cylinder. That way water doesn't splash out and we don't break our graduate cylinder. The next thing you want to do is take your final reading. You should be at right now around 41 milliliters. So our displacement was 9 milliliters. Now the objects do not have a volume of 9 milliliters because they're solids. So instead we would say they have a volume of 9 centimeters cubed.